Forrest Gump has iconic scene flaw no one noticed. An American classic was produced in 1994. Robert Lee Zemeckis' movie, Forrest Gump, was based on Winston Groom's book of the same name. Tom Hanks was cast in the lead role and delivered one of the finest performances of his career. The comedy and emotional film received acclaim from both critics and audiences and also debuted at the box office with remarkable success. The following are several facts about this timeless classic that you may not be aware of. Renowned Forest Accent In the film, everyone adored Forrest Gump's peculiar dialect. It endowed the character with a unique allure. Michael Connor Humphrey, who portrayed juvenile Forrest and was a co-star of Tom Hanks, had that dialect. Hanks gradually grew fond of it, and the two actors ultimately agreed that Forrest Gump should also communicate with that accent. For this film, Michael Connor Humphrey received considerable critical acclaim, including the Young Artist Award. The Mother of Forrest Gump Sally Field's portrayal of Forrest Gump's devoted mother was exemplary. Even though her character in the film appeared to be quite elderly, Sally Field was, in fact, only slightly older than Tom Hanks at the time she portrayed this character. The Hippie Movement for the bohemian sequence of the film, the director acquired a large number of individuals with hairstyles that embodied that era and fashion that had since passed. The scene was shot in the most ingenious manner possible at the behest of the film's inventive minds. Instead of recruiting a large number of extras and altering their appearance to resemble hippies, the cast performed the scene of the Maryland Renaissance Festival. Run, Forest, Run! In the film, Tom Hanks performed the majority of the sprinting. In actuality, he ran frequently. However, for the long-distance run scene, the director utilized Jim, the junior sibling of Tom Hanks, who was an exceptional runner. When siblings resemble one another, it's advantageous. The director was not required to locate a movie double for Tom. The True Extended Run Louis Michael Figuera, an adolescent, embarked on foot from his New Jersey residence to San Francisco in 1982. Even though he was only 16 years old, he was determined to help the American Cancer Society. Forrest Gump's well-known quote from the movie, I simply put one foot in front of the other. When I became exhausted, I retire to bed. I consume when I become famished. The phrase, when I need to go to the restroom, I do so was a slightly altered version of what Lewis said in response to a question regarding his historical long run. Feeling ill There may be a variety of complications that arise during production, such as actors falling ill. The vast majority of actors are extremely professional and perform their duties without exception. They're not permitted to frequently go home or call in sick while filming is in progress. One such occasion occurred while performing a sprinting scenario at a football game. Despite having a severe illness, Tom Hanks was able to perform this iconic scene. Not a major hit It was not an immediate success when the first edition of Forrest Gump was published in 1986. A mere 30,000 copies were purchased. However, it was film producer Wendy Feinerman who recognized the novel's immense potential and effectively adapted it into a motion picture. Due to the book's status as a classic, 1.6 million copies were sold following the triumph of the film. The Speech – An Important Incident The film Forrest Gump was replete with pivotal moments. Among them was the renowned address delivered by Forrest Gump before an anti-war assemblage at Washington, D.C. rally. Although the microphone connection was removed, his speech was nonetheless audible. Forrest stated the following, when individuals travel to Vietnam, they occasionally return home to their mothers without legs. At times, they fail to return home entirely. That is an undesirable occurrence. That is all I have to say concerning that. Additional Financial Issues Amid the gunfire, there were financial concerns. The studio was 48 hours away from ceasing production on the film at one point. In the end, Tom Hanks and director Zemeckis contributed the necessary funds personally. Hanks declined payment for the film and instead accepted a commission in the form of a percentage, which ultimately generated $40 million for him. Ultimately, despite finishing among the highest-grossing films of all time, 
Forrest Gump was characterized as an effective failure. Instances of Forrest. Tom Hanks consistently demonstrated meticulous attention to detail to the extent that his eyes were closed in each photograph that Forrest captured for the film. Considering Tom Hanks' high level of professionalism, it's reasonable to surmise that this error was intentionally committed. The Forrest Gump House. Constructed specifically for the film, the ancient plantation-style home where Forrest Gump spent his childhood, that home was constructed hastily and inadequately was condemned shortly after filming of the movie concluded. Originally situated beyond Varnville, South Carolina, the residence was the non-existent city of Greenbow in the place of origin for Forrest. Bubba Gump Dining Establishments Bubba, a military companion of Forrest Gump, aspired to attain the throne of the seafood industry. Bubba passed away during the Vietnam War. However, Forrest Gump preserved and accomplished his aspirations in the memory of Bubba Gump. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company operates restaurants internationally and throughout the United States for its physical location. The renowned eatery is present in China, Japan, and Malaysia, and each of those locations features a bench adorned with Forrest's luggage and his Snickers falling beneath it. It's noteworthy that this restaurant chain did not exist before the release of the film. An Exact Deal During the Vietnam War, Gary Sinise portrayed Lieutenant Dan, who commanded a platoon of soldiers that included Forrest and Bubba. Gary, portrayed by Dan in the film, donned a St. Christopher medal bearing the inscription, Protect Us in Combat. Gary Sinise's brother-in-law was the rightful owner of that medal. He donned it while serving in the Vietnam War. Consider Imagined Actual footage from the Dick Cavett show depicted the encounter between Forrest Gump and legendary Beatles member John Lennon. However, in the process of creating the film, Yoko Ono was digitally removed and replaced with a video featuring Tom Hanks in the role of Forrest. Genuine Footage a 1968 scene from the film was utilized during the ceremony in which Forrest Gump presented Lyndon B. Johnson with the Medal of Honor. Digitally superimposed on the body of Sammy L. Davis, who did indeed receive this honor for his service in Vietnam, was the head of Forrest. This created the false impression that Forrest was confronting President Lyndon B. Johnson in person. The Bubba Lip the actor who portrayed Bubba, Forrest Gump's combat companion, was McKelty Williamson. Without a doubt, Bubba's lower lip set him apart. His protruding jaw was, without a doubt, a meticulously crafted prosthetic that was intended to appear authentic. It was a tremendous success, as many individuals were astonished to see McKelty Williamson in the film without it when it was released in theaters. Conflict Scenes in reality, the Vietnam War sequences were filmed on a golf course located off the coast of South Carolina on Fripp Island. Undoubtedly, computer-generated imagery CGI, performed its enchantment in invoking a sensation of the marshy terrain, turbulent jungle, and marshy wetlands. Extensive Scene Featuring Robin Robin Wright was afflicted with a severe illness at the time of the nightclub sequence was filmed. The filming continued throughout the day until the scene was perfected, and Robin wore almost no clothing for the day. However, she delivered an outstanding performance akin to that of an accomplished artist. Screenplay completed In the end, the sequel was written by Eric Roth, who also authorized screenplays for numerous other successful films, including The Insider, Munich, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay for Forrest Gump. The written screenplay for the sequel to Forrest Gump was submitted via mail on September 10, 2001. After September 11, 2001, nobody was willing to give it a try. Past Beneath His Fingernails in addition to Tom Hanks, other actors extended the script for the film adaptation of Forrest Gump, John Travolta, Chevy Chase, and Bill Murray were among the other actors in attendance. Fortunately for Hanks, each of them declined, which allowed the ideal actor to take the role. Even now, John Travolta acknowledges his regret at not being cast in the role of Forrest Gump. Dan, Lieutenant 
An integral character in the film, Lieutenant Dan, portrayed by Gary Sinise, embodied a combination of toughness and vulnerability. Having been crippled by combat, Lieutenant Dan's wounds needed to appear realistic. Due to the lack of advanced special effects technology in Hollywood in 1994, the digital team instructed Gary to wear a blue fabric that discreetly obscured his lower thighs, thereby accomplishing the intended convincing illusion. Genius Edition McKelty Williamson portrayed Bubba with such conviction that he encountered real-life challenges in securing alternative acting work after the production of Forrest Gump. Primarily due to the consensus among casting directors that this represented his authentic self, which changed following Williamson's appearance on David Letterman's The Late Show. Achieving Improvisation When the character portrayed by Tom Hanks states, My name is Forrest Gump, people call me Forrest Gump, became one of the most memorable lines of the film almost immediately. It's noteworthy that Tom Hanks made this particular sentence up while filming, and it wasn't in the original script. As a result of Zemeckis' approval, it was retained in the film. Elvis Presley The famous actor Kurt Russell, who was ultimately uncredited, supplied the voice of Elvis Presley in the film in a practically convincing manner. In 1979, Kurt appeared in a television film about Elvis, which likely facilitated his casting for this role. Additional CGI Magic Observing a ping-pong match may be entertaining, but it's extremely difficult to track a ball that ricochets and rebounds off surfaces at a rate quicker than the average human eye can detect. Filming such a scene presents an inherently difficult task, particularly when actors lacking ping-pong experience are involved. Thus, CGI once again performed a feat of enchantment. A ball was not in motion during the match that was filmed. A later addition was the ping-pong ball, which was intended to strike the paddle and simulate an actual match. Growing Pains The film Forrest Gump chronicles Forrest's formative years, depicting his development from a young child to a young man to an elderly man who is good-natured but slow-witted. A truly subtle detail exemplifies the graceful progression of his development. Forrest consistently dons the same blue checkered shirt in the opening scene of each critical stage. Neglected Opportunity Several renowned actors declined the opportunity to portray Bubba. Bubba was an original casting offer extended to Dave Chappelle, Ice Cube, and David Alan Greer. David Chappelle believed it was not a suitable film in which to appear as a disabled actor. Ice Cube felt uneasy portraying the character, and David Allen likely had a similar reluctance to accept the role. McKelty Williamson ultimately capitalized on the opportunity and earned a profit from the film's box office success. The Renowned Bench Forrest Gump resting on the most renowned bench in the world while awaiting his bus, narrating his work. Savannah officials deemed that the bench to be an excessive asset due to its widespread use and decided to safeguard it from the unfavorable Savannah climate and potential thieves. Consequently, the bench that was originally situated in Chippewa Square, Savannah, Georgia, was relocated to the Savannah History Museum. A Mistake Probably the only error in the film was present in the running scene's timeline. According to Forrest Gump, he'd been in the race for three years and two months. However, he began running on October 1, 1979, the day President Carter fainted from heat exhaustion, and continued running until he received Jenny's letter on March 30, 1981, the day President Reagan's assassination attempt was all over the news. A period of precisely one and a half years isolated the first and second events. The Extras an unpleasant experience accompanied juvenile Forrest Gump on his first school bus journey. The children on the transport ridiculed him upon his arrival. These toddlers were, in fact, the offspring of the individuals who produced the film. Alexander, the son of director Robert Zemeckis, is the young man in question. Elizabeth, the daughter of Tom Hanks, is the lady who shuns Forrest Gump. Prominent Props There are Bubba Gump establishments located in every country on Earth. Although the majority of them are located in the United States, certain establishments offer more than mere shrimp dishes. Guests can view the authentic prawn skiff from the film in downtown Disney. Prominently displayed on the wall of one of the restaurants are the ping pong paddles that Forrest Gump utilizes in the film, providing an opportunity for admiration by patrons. 
Additionally, Tom Hanks' signature appears. Eliminated scene. A particular scene was omitted from the film at the request of director Zemeckis due to concerns that it contained racial connotations and could potentially offend African-American individuals. When Forrest Gump leapt to divert the attention with a game of retrieve, riot police flanked Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. as they released a German shepherd dog. The aforementioned scene is accessible via the Special Collector's Edition DVD. Many of Forrest Gump's Abilities Forrest Gump achieves tremendous success in football in the film due to his extraordinary sprinting abilities. After completing his service in the Vietnam War, he emerged victorious in an international ping-pong competition. However, within the novel, Gump's domains of competence expand even further. Forrest Gump not only excels at chess, but also serves as an astronaut and a professional wrestler. Wendy Feinerman, producer of Tough Pitch Film, was so captivated by the novel of Forrest Gump that she resolved to adapt it into a motion picture. In 1986, no one in Hollywood shared her enthusiasm. No one was genuinely interested in this film until she secured Tom Hanks for the starring role, nine years after she first proposed the concept. Tom Hanks, conversely, immediately recognized the story's potential. Signing onto the film took him precisely one and a half hours after his perusal of the script. An Encore Opportunity of a Lifetime During the filming of the scene where Forrest Gump returns from Vietnam on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., director Zemeckis approached a few travelers who were passing by and requested their assistance with this specific scene. Due to their fortuitous location and timing, the couple, traveling from Atlanta, Georgia, were cast as actors in the film. Additionally, they were allowed to deliver a few lines. Excellent timing and a dash of good fortune are unparalleled. Book Reproduction A genuine tale, Forrest Gump, is an adaptation of a novel. The screenplay closely resembles the novel, albeit with a few notable differences. For instance, Tom Hanks' character, Forrest, has an endearing, infantile naivete in the film. Forrest is portrayed as a more sardonic cynic in the novel. Forrest says in the opening scene involving the chocolate box, My mother always said that life was like a box of chocolates. One can never predict what they'll receive. The book commences differently. Permit me to say this, a box of chocolates is not being an imbecile. Individuals mock, lose patience with, and mistreat you. People are indeed supposed to be kind to those who are afflicted, but I can assure you that this is not always the case. The Gump and Company Following the critical acclaim garnered by his debut novel, Forrest Gump, Winston Groom penned Gump and Company, a sequel whose introductory line counsels against allowing your life story to be adapted into a film. This is likely because no individual associated with the film ever credited the author whose novel served as the inspiration for the film. Groom was not even privately thanked. He was largely disregarded. Jenny's Passing Jenny, the lady that Forrest Gump adores and a companion of his, passes away in the film within a year of their matrimonial union. Because the film is set in the 1980s, when AIDS was at its zenith in the United States, we are led to assume that the infection that caused her death was AIDS, although the precise cause of death was not explicitly stated. On the contrary, Winston Groom penned the book with an alternative intention in mind. Thus, Groom discloses in his sequel novel, Gump and Company, that Jenny did indeed pass away from hepatitis C, an infection she contacted during her years of substance abuse. A Sequencer In the subsequent installment, Gump and Company, Forrest effectively elevates the intensity of his mischievous exploits. He inadvertently demolishes the Berlin Wall, becomes entangled in the Iran-Contra affair, serves in Desert Storm, and endures numerous additional exploits that forge fresh recollections. Film Sequence Although enthusiasts of Forrest Gump would undoubtedly welcome the chance to see a sequel, it currently appears improbable that this will occur, because nobody wants to do it. The consensus among critics is that Forrest Gump's effective failure was merely a coincidental occurrence, and the sequel would undoubtedly be a resounding failure. Additionally, Tom Hanks stated that he would never reprise his role as Forrest in a sequel because it could undo what we had accomplished. An excellent year for film enthusiasts. 
1994, Forrest Gump debuted in theaters, the same year that several of the greatest films of all time were released, including Pulp Fiction, Shawshank Redemption, and Jurassic Park. Film enthusiasts from around the globe delighted in viewing these films to the point where they eventually became considered classics. Despite facing stiff competition, Forrest Gump debuted at number one at the box office and remained in theaters for an impressive 42 weeks. It grossed an astounding $677 million, placing it as the film with the fourth highest gross of all time. Contrary Opinion The author of the novel, Forrest Gump, Winston Groom, was only compensated $350,000 for the rights to the screenplay. He elected to receive 3% of the film's net profits. However, the film failed to generate a profit, leaving him with no earnings. Groom and Paramount Pictures had a dispute, which subsequently came to an amicable resolution after Paramount's acquisition of the script rights to one of Groom's other novels. <laughs>